Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Black Box Tech and in today's episode I will discuss about cognitive services from Microsoft. So in the last video we have discussed about content moderator service and in today's session I will discuss about computer vision API. Computer vision API provides state of the art algorithm to process image and return information to you. For an example it can be used to determine if an image contains match your content or the persons who is an image and also like what he is wearing and what he is doing all those information it can return from a particular images so without further delay let's get started if you are following along in the last videos in which i have described how we need to or how you can actually work with cognitive services and i've shown one of the api called content moderator where it will check for any bad words and in today's session i will discuss about another api called computer vision api so this is the same process so first you need to create a resource for cognitive services and then you will get two keys so either one uh, key will work here and uh, then uh, this is the API console and I will be working with describe image features and this describe image actually need a image URL and uh, you can have uh, you need to pass query parameters of max candidates you can this is the default one and uh, with the header and the request header you need to pass the subscription key which you can grab it from here this keys and it should return uh, the result as a within description it will return tags and also in the caption it will return the text this confidence level will let you know uh, how much accurate this response is and also it will send the metadata of that particular image which you have sent with the request the width and height and the format so to call this api uh, we need to first have to create a image upload features and then uh, it will be back end one and then for the front end we need to request uh, the api as well we need to uh, get the image url from our upload features and then pass the URL to the cognitive service API. <clears throat> so let's jump into the backend first. So for the backend, I have this server.js, which is actually a simple node server. And I'm using a node module called Multer for the image upload process. So the first of the thing I've just within this constant, I have mentioned about the directory where I want my image to be uploaded. I've given a name of uploads. So you need to create a folder called uploads here. And then I have defined the storage as our disk storage. So what we need when someone is upload the image, it should <coughs> store into the our disk space. So there are other options like you can directly send it to S3 or other clouds through Multer. But for this example, I'm using disk storage here. I will store the uploaded image into the disk within this upload folder. So here I'm assigning Multer with this uh, disk storage. And there are a few uh, middle where i use actually set header access control allow origin to star this wildcard means uh, it will allow uh, cross origin from any of the uh, url so in my case i'll be testing it from my localhost so with this wildcard will allow uh, so they will that there will be no cross origin policy access error I have created this route 
so this route will accept a post request and I here I am using upload.single that means you can upload a single photo uh, or image and this will be renamed as photo so um, and uh, when actually there is no file uh, the success message is false and when there is an image so it will return uh, the image path of that particular file now coming to the front end I have a simple angular application so this is my angular application so the first of the thing in the environment TS yes, I have added my API key because it's always better not to uh, add your um, API key uh, exposed within the code so for this example I have added into the environment TS yes, but it will be always better like if you uh, pass this from the actual environment variable from the server and then add that in your code so within the app component what I've done uh, I have given a URL and that URL actually uh, the URL of our uh, the backend I have created so the backend I've actually hosted into our uh, my digital ocean cloud and that URL is now this actually API slash upload and this is the host details host and port details so now uh, within the ng init uh, uh, what I've done uh, this is the method like on after adding file and on complete item uh, so this will actually uh, when the upload is complete then this callback will happen and when uh, that callback happen I'm getting the response with the image URL for this image upload feature I'm using one third party component library that is ng2 upload so in app module I have imported this file select directive from ng2 file upload and then added into declaration also I'll be using HTTP client module and I'll be using HTTP client for all these post request and get request in my app component TS yes, once we get the callback that on complete uh, item that means it's the uploaded process is completed upload process is completed then I will get create this complete URL this is response will return the image file name and this is my server URL so I have created a static public folder and defined this uh, upload as a public directory so this URL this slash and this image name the image can be accessed from that URL and then within this constant I am creating this object URL and which will hold the complete URL of the image and then I have created a service here so in the service first of all I am creating a headers and the header I'm passing content type application as JSON and also the subscription key and that key I'm getting from environment uh, file and the name of the key is API key so this is holding the main subscription key and this is the option I've created with the header and then I have created a method called get operation location and within that I have creating this post and this whole URL is the actual URL of the endpoint and passing the header this request body actually I am passing the complete image URL so if you see this app component.ts when I am calling this service I am passing this data which hold the URL of the complete image within this URL key and then with the return result I'm subscribing and this data and within that data within description and caption and this text actually holding the complete 
uh, result of that particular image which is returned from cognitive services so let's try out what we have created so i have saved few of the images so let's try with this one so you can see this image we have uploaded which now in my server and when the url returns i'm sending that complete url to cognitive service uh, and then cognitive service read the image and send this text as a description so it's now understand read the image and it find out the image actually which hollywood celebrities let's try with a, another image this time a indian uh, movie uh, actor so here we have two actor you can see it's correctly get the name from the image so Sarukh khan and amit khan and they are posing for a picture so they correctly get that let's try with another one So Robert De Niro wearing a suit and tie looking at the camera so that even actually find out like what the celebrity is wearing and all those features from the particular image let's try with another one let's try with Steve Jobs image the same Steve Jobs wearing glasses it can find the feature like it the character have glasses Steve Jobs wearing glasses posing for the camera so this is very interesting feature from cognitive services like it can read the image and extract the details out of it so there are pretty good use cases where you can actually use this particular feature i will come up with all the others apis one by one so thanks for watching we'll meet next week thanks a lot